got me thinking about my niggas that be locked in the wingo. Move out, show them how they single. I tell her, hey, lily, lily, now drop your tingo. Fine boy, no pimple, hey, lily, lily. She says she keep on hearing my ringtone. <laughs> that wall was so tired. <laughs> hey, bro, listen. Look at the time. I want everyone to look at the time. Yeah, well, well the time? is that eight something? Eight or nine? What time was y'all? What time was y'all meant to get here? Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. We was meant is. to be here at we seven, here. but we're here. And that's it. That's what I was gonna say. We're here now. We're ready to move still. So yeah, here we're back again. Keeping up with Camzo STP. Appreciate with Camzo episode three. I know it's been a long time, but. Yeah, just you know, the whole art of stopping and starting that's not really me. So, today I'm with the one and only, the famous, the music column. Why you don't believe in your master? I love that, the famous. You lot don't believe in your thing. I believe in you lot thing more than you lot must do. Thank you. But, yeah, so obviously, introduce you lot so one by one. Who's going first? first. (laughs) Oh, um, my name's Princess. Huh? I don't tell that. I don't tell that, huh? Anyway. Yeah, you know, my name's Rashawn. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. My name's Hussein. Hussein. Nice to meet you. This is my mate. Yeah. Known him for quite a long time. Went to the same university. Yeah. Don't actually know Rashawn, but I've seen her. D lot doing their thing. These are cold. I see these lot, yeah. If you don't want to post a video on a gram and not get copyrighted, shout these lot, because. They post anything and these are calm. When I post People that in school, don't understand what we go When I post that in school, I listen, I post a, t- a young 10 seconds. Sorry, this video has been taken now. <laughs> you know Sorry, that actually happens to out. us, but I don't know. We go about it in different ways. We've tried like different strategies when in I order say, to. You guys don't even understand that. Trust. My head has just. There's days now nah, we've wanted to cry. Bro, they like, take our shit down. Bro, as you know well. you're trying to support your black sisters, but I can't support. I'm hating. I can't. <laughs> like, I can't do it. Like, why? Like, bro, what's going on? Fam, man can't do it, but these are doing it, so it don't make sense to me still. But yeah, so obviously I'm going to have their ads and all their stuff down below. You can check them out. These are proper cool still. Man just watches them on a normal, just watching, oh, seeing how it goes. And I love it, man. Big man thing. I ain't no fake. I, I don't say stuff if I don't do it. You get me? I ain't Guys, no fake. Guys, disclaimer, so. we lost our page though. I know. But we have our backup page. So what though? So what? Page. Literally, Instagram are not allowing us to get our page back because there was a number and you need to verify that you've changed the number. But we don't use that number no more. So <sighs> we've been contacting them and... They just, just take us back to square one. They just take us back to square one. So that's how you got to start, boy. You just start just again. It'll be calm, man. I'll be here. I'll be your first follower. And you this, Thank you. Know, you. But anyway, so on today's episode, obviously you lot know this is a music-based podcast. The sound of the streets and land with a beat. You know how it goes. And today I we're like going to be. That. Sorry, sound. Yeah, say that again. The the sound of the streets and land yeah, with a beat. <laughs> the sound of the streets and land with a beat. Still, I made that up. I made that up. So yeah. So today we're going to be talking about drill. Yeah, drill mania. Yeah, drill minister. <laughs> Any, anything else? We're going to be talking about drill. So we're going to talk about the beginning of drill still. So the rise of drill. So what would you lot say? When you not talk about the beginning of drill for you lot, what year slash like what period would you lot associate with that before I start speaking? Like, so it, or like an artist, for example, what artist comes to your head when you think about the beginning of drill in the UK? Well, I don't know. I feel like with me, I started listening to so called drill so when i was in school i used to listen to like sdp but i wouldn't call that drill but like it was in a sense kind of drill then when i got like to college i was listening to like six seven okay so i would say yeah that that's was, where i started like really listening uh, to drill, drill harlem so. spartans uh, yeah etc uh, what about you pretty Rich? much pretty much the same as well like the, i feel like the sound previously from like all nine and that it didn't have a set um, mm. genre, uh, but that kind of influence yeah, along with yeah, the Chicago yeah, yeah. And era. Yeah, what UK drill is yeah, now. Yeah, nah, it was it was strong rap. It was strong rap, and that's that's what and that's how I feel about drill now. I feel like people just like if it sounds wearing a bandana, people just slap that as drill. But mm. it's it's weird. You can't really say yeah, what's drill, yeah, what's yeah. not drill. It's, it's a techie one. But mm. I feel like for me, I think UK drill probably when it first started. So I'll say like O thirteen times, kind of like. Dicks and M Dog and like the mm-hmm. whole one fifty lot. Even that said was that. yeah, that the was Brixton that lot. was more the Brixton lot did do their things though. And then the six seven lot came in, and I feel like yeah, like that was that was what made drill for me. So I feel like them times it weren't really 
it was nowhere it wasn't even half to where it is now do you know what i mean yeah. and i feel like it's come a, it's come a long way and that kind of leads into my second question like do you not feel that like drill is here to stay like do you not feel like like how long do you feel that like drill can go on before it becomes that nah man this ain't I ain't, I ain't playing this no more i feel like it is here to stay mm. I pretty much kind of agree. I feel like, you see, cool. I'm thinking of genres like, let's say, Garage. Yeah. That had its time. Yeah. And then it kind of just, just died, died kinda down. Died. Yeah. Same as Funky House. Exactly. The same thing. But I yeah. feel like, you see now, Drill kind of um, came into an era where, you know, along with social media, technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as long as, I don't know, us as the consumers, uh, I, as long as we keep stuff alive. Uh, yeah, that's then how we'll long stay we alive, exactly. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 like, I genuinely do not know. I don't know if it's here to stay or not. It's techie because it's like, I've seen it grow like to the point where like Drill, Drill is paying now. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like mm. one person in Drill that I feel like does not get his props for Drill is Russ. And I feel like when people hear Russ's name, <laughs> then people hear Russ. But you know what it is? You know what it is? It's funny because you know what it is? It's funny because yeah, I was having this conversation with someone, yeah. I just know her face <laughs> whenever, whenever I come on, maybe you call it cheating, but whenever I come on, I always have a conversation about the topic with someone else, isn't it? And I feel like Gun Lean for me, yeah, was, was the song that indicated to me that, okay, Drill can actually pay like 100%. obviously and can go proper commercial like obviously there's drill songs that have like done numbers and that but to actually pay to get like playlisted and to be that like, in a club and to be like every demographic is listening to mm. it like white black like, like russ was the first to do that but i feel like because of how russ is as a character mm. that's what he's not gonna get his praise you know what i mean like people would rather give it to like the heady ones and the digger d's and that but i feel like yeah russ did not get his props and i feel like that tune you done with tion wayne the other day body, body. There's cold. a reason. I'm not gonna lie, cold. That song's good, but I feel like your character and artistry are basically <laughs> aligned. I'm so sorry, like we're gonna look at you a certain way if you're behaving a certain way. Don't get me wrong, he's his songs do numbers, uh. period. But your character also affects you. So that's how when people say you're ass, everyone's like, uh. But do you feel like that's fair though? Do you feel like like man's ex- beh- man's demeanour, man's behaviour is gonna take away from the actual art? Like Um, um I feel That's like a bit. Um, go on. <laughs> go on. I feel like yeah, a bit. Like, let's go back to R. Kelly. This ain't drill. Ooh, but oh my god! Let's be honest, R. Kelly, nah. nah. R. 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 Kelly, sick artist. 100%. Period. Like, do you, do, you still, do, you still, do you still listen to him? I don't listen to him. Uh, what about you? Do you listen to it? I know you listen to it. 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 I don't listen to it. I ain't saying nothing. I'll ask y'all the question. People still listen to R. Kelly. I'm on your way here. I believe. I don't know. But do I listen to R. Kelly? No comment. But but listen, but yeah, I hear it. But But once again, you can't take from R. Kelly's art. You can't take you can't. Like, when you're talking about true, when you're you talking can't. about when you're talking about R and B and all of this stuff like mm. no matter what a man has done you you know you have to you have to throw man's name in the mix but people don't like to throw Russ's name in the mix and I've clocked and I don't think it's fair but once mm. again it does when a man is in too much passer you lose exactly. credibility in it mm-hmm. do you know what I mean 100%. so so yeah and I've, that's that's a key name and draw for me I feel like obviously people like to people like to and this was a conversation i was having when i was on a call as well like people like to people don't know how to distinguish they don't know how to distinguish um pioneer and the most influential in it do you know what i mean so i mm-hmm. feel like just because that all sticks in the dog and that they were their pioneers in six seven and that doesn't mean they're the most influential it doesn't yeah, mean that all, do you know what i mean influential names and drool i'm not gonna lie it's gotta be russ again it's gotta be the digger d's it's gotta be them yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. and you have Eddie, to because when i look at like i'll go on I'm a stalker in it. I go on digging these followers every day in it. Same. Not every day, but I go on these followers. Nah, I go on it a lot as well. Nigga like, on the mill. You got on nine. He's, this he's on nine k. Yeah, nine hundred k already. So that alone. Nine hundred k. Trust. On Even I pre um um what's his name? Ugh. Look at me. I forgot his name. Which one, another one. C. Central C. Yeah, Central C. Central C. I pre his followers, guys. He's on like eight hundred k. Is he drill though? I don't know. I think when he first started making music, I feel like he, he was himself, a bit drill. He wanted to do like different sounds, but they weren't working for him. So uh, when he's, he's now loading, ever, I feel like he is a I bit drill. I guess they categorize it as that. I don't know. Drill man. is like there's a oh, there's a thin line between that genre. It's confusing. Hey, right, bro. I just I don't think know. I think in my opinion, the way the world sees it now, same thing with Afrobeats and Afro swing in it. 
if you got a beat that goes bam bam bam, bam, bam. <laughs> that's it if you got if you got if you got if you got piano if you got melody it's afro swing and it might not be it could be r&b and the same thing with really drill. if you're blacked out in the video it's not rap no more if you're not blaine brown and you're not nines you're mm, a drill artist yeah which is it fair i'm not don't shoot the messenger in it that's not me but mm. that's just what happens in it but central c central c is cold he's their numbers still i can't like, i can't take numbers. Numbers. he's saying like he's in america and that like he's mm-hmm. doing these things though and his promo team is just amazing like the way they ne- done the whole wild west trust. that was so orange, he, had, lit. he had wild wild west fucking trainers he had the the graffiti he even he had gave out whip. food didn't it where uh-huh. did he give out food when did he give out food Probably local to where he lives because yeah. he loves his area. He even featured on Drake's. That yeah, like, no, nah, that's when I said he's lit. I said, wow, bye. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's so lit. It, that, that does kind of answer the question. It, it, I think it is here to stay to a degree. I think it is here to stay to a degree still. <clears throat> we'll see how long it goes. We'll, we'll see how long it goes. We'll see how long, how long it goes. But I do think it's here. Now, Pioneer. So the question that I ask all the time is, so you lot know Mount Rushmore. Do you know what Mount Rushmore is? Mount Rushmore. Do you know what that is? You know that thing in America, yeah, where it's got like Abraham Lincoln and that. It's got like four okay. people's faces, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you was to put four drill artists on it, yeah, as the face of drill from any time, all from the UK, damn, who would it be? Bloody hell. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? You know what we'll do? Everyone gets one artist. We'll do three. Okay, cool. Everyone gets one artist and we'll, have, we'll come are to we a conclusion. Are talking about pioneers or people that Pioneers. Are pioneers don't mean influence. It, it could mean influential. It could mean they had that one track that was just like, just for you, innit? That personal person that just thought, you know what? They have to be there. So everybody will see that and go, yeah, that's my man from, do you know what I mean? I would say six, seven. Okay. Because I love them at okay. the time. Mm-hmm. Fair. So, yeah. I won't take from that still. Um, yeah, the one Fiddy lot, including like Perm. Mm. So. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, For me, it's um, tough. I've been saying Russell's name there, but I ain't gonna say, I'm not going to say him. I feel like I know I'll let you down, bro, but I ain't saying your name this time. But for me, yeah, it might sound mad, but I'm going to go with Diggity, innit? I just feel like he just brought, from when Diggity, I remember I started listening to Diggity when he first came into the game with the 10-11 lot, which was like 0, 17, 18 times. Mm. And it was like, Man just gravitated towards the geezer. Like, I just liked him. Do you know what I mean? And it's like now him coming out of Joe and just doing his thing and just like using social media well. Yeah. He's doing numbers. He's Very doing it all well. the right way. I've got to put him there. So and I feel comfortable. Like I always look at it like, would I feel comfortable taking Diggity to America and then playing them to an American artist? Like, 100%. and I think I would still. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Definitely. I think I would. I think I would with Diggity still. I, I think was I would. Add as well, especially like you know the chingy and uh, and uh, like how yeah, he's kind chingy. of like made himself now. That's definitely something the Americans would be like, ooh. Yeah, yeah like it's lit. fun. Yeah. It's a fun kind of drill. Like the Americans are doing it like that. Like it's a fun kind of drill. It's still a drill. Like yeah. with what he's talking about, with the way he flows coming the out, it's still a drill. Do you know what I mean? So my man try to call it Afrobeats, but it's not like. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck was it Afrobeats? Please say your name now, please. <laughs> oh my god, that but is not yeah. Afrobeats. The hundreds still, and that's the that's the drill. That's the drill still. So all you drill artists, obviously you don't know how it goes. If your name went in a Mark Rushmore, don't take it personal. Don't shoot me, shoot these two. But yeah, I would say but, unknown to you as well, guys. I don't see that, but I don't. Sorry, why not? What? I don't. I like. I just. I just. Don't, I don't know what it is. I feel like. I don't know what it is with me and Unknown T, but I just don't. I don't. I'm like, even the whole 98, like, I know they're hard. Like, I don't listen to them thinking, turn this off, but I just, like, I feel like Unknown T, he's got, he's got a mad following, innit? It's crazy that, like, and when I mean mad following, it's not like 500, 600k. It's like people actually do support the geezer, innit? But I'm just, I just, like, like I don't listen to him. I ain't got his new tape. Oh my I God. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I feel don't know like why. he's, I feel like personally, Unknown T doesn't get like, the recognition yeah. he deserves yeah. he is so versatile uh, like i can honestly say that he is versatile but i feel like your social media presence is also important uh, so it's bigger today yeah especially but he's today. good at that like the whole thing he done with arms called yeah remember when you took that picture and you were just topless you remember and seen that yeah yeah with that like, guy yeah with the, yeah like, but so i feel like it's like he comes and goes digger's there to stay digger yeah. makes yeah. sure every consistency yeah, 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 he's always yeah, got yeah, to be yeah. consistent because the whole my mills thing and that exactly like, yeah he's we're got in an era where social media is so important so mm-hmm. mm, like the music from unknown t like it's not bad 
it's not bad I think at all. It's sick. It's, oh it's, my god. It's, it's, it's good enough. What would you say out of ten then? <sighs> Probably like six point five seven. That's really he's got an average. album coming out soon. I can tell. Huh? I, can, I saw he was he's he's got an album coming out soon, isn't it? He's in the works, yeah. Definitely. So let's make a judgment when Maybe we get there. All of us need to listen to it right, and cool, judge. So you said it, innit? You Definitely. said it. Music column, I'm anyway. We'll yeah, be we'll be the first. I'll be in the comments. And you have to pin that comment and you'll see what I say. <laughs> all right, a long one. <laughs> You know you gotta press C all. You're gonna that's what you're gonna see when I listen to that take. <laughs> but yeah, like even even like Digga D like his last take because I used to call him a single man, didn't it? Mm. I used to think nah. Because when I heard only me, this is an unpopular opinion, but his tape, the last one that came out, Double Tap Diaries, I didn't actually like it. The one that came mm, out before this one, I didn't actually out, like yeah. it. But all my man, all my boys did, but I didn't actually like it. I but like then, that. but when I heard this one, The Made in the Paris, I actually liked it. Like mm. I yeah, actually didn't like it, honest, so did. yeah, like that's what I feel like. He's there for me still. I'm, I I like it, but if I was a label, for example, I'll give him however much he wants to sign him. Still, like I'll say, really? I'll give him a blank check. Take that because I know you're gonna make it back for me. Hundred percent. I know he'll make it back for me still. So yeah. So Especially that's, if he keeps up with what he's doing now. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He's just he's got a smart team around him. Even from that documentary on BBC, you could tell his management. Yeah. They're for that him documentary. Still. Wow, that cold, cold. I love real that. Inside. Like cold, a real cold, insight. Cold, 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 proper cold still. Ah, uh, cool. So now that moves us on to the next question. I think you lot should like this. This will be a nice one. So the question is, let me read this. nice one. So the question is, let me read this as clear as I can. <clears throat> That's a <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you could you have a rapper boyfriend slash girlfriend? If yes, why? If no, why? I set no. pace first. I set you pace set first. pace first. Let's Can I have a rapper girlfriend? No. Let me get some. I more. couldn't have one, but I feel like my reason is different to other people's reason. I feel like it, it stems into like I've got PTSD in it. So like really? my my example, I always use Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Brad Pitt, and Angelina Jolie in it. Okay. So I remember when Brad Pitt was getting up, Angel- when he was getting out with um, when he shot Mr. and Mrs. Smith, he was he was getting out with Jennifer Anson at the time, innit? Yeah. And then he shot what he shot with Angelina Jolie, mm-hmm. and then through that chemistry and just the film, mm-hmm. they fell in love. Like mm. that's so scary. Like it's not even you know how normally it's normal when you see like a rapper, mm. he's got his young baby mom from high school, <laughs> and then he meets the industry. It's true, girl, and then he and meets he someone, leaves then he leaves. Yeah. But Jennifer Aniston was an industry babe as well, so it's like. He weren't even moving from better to better. It was just like he just went to the other. Yeah, yeah from one like, to so, another, bro, that's yeah, sketch. So true. imagine my thing now, cool. With how the UK is now, sex is paying. Like my young thing, like cool. She's now going to shoot a video with like young <laughs> ads. <laughs> and then that, the trailer and that she's all like I'm in a bit. Dead. Oh no, no, no! I, if that means I'm not confident in myself, so be on camera. But I just feel like I ain't got. I, I, yeah. I'm doing too much in my life to be having that stress. I wish Shea Bar off. <laughs> Shea Bar off. Don't, yeah. don't take three screenshots. Yeah, take three pictures. Boom, so you're boom, just a circle boom. picture. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, my face will be like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Shea Bar will ruin yeah, you. Nah, no way. That's my reason, isn't it? So, so you wouldn't? I can't. I ain't got it in me still. And imagine I don't like her art as well. That's true, though. No, it's like true. No. But then you still have to support it, no? <laughs> I like what I'm saying makes sense. No, it <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, because of that, that's then we're just inevitably gonna break up. Then if I can't, if yeah, come on, if so, if I've had people in the past, for example, because I know a lot of girls like discreet guys, isn't it? And it's like I've had a lot of girls, a lot of girls, girls do that. This girls, girls, hey, girls are in the tier. What's the street? No, girls are in the tier. Like my boyfriend has to have like two hundred followers, and he's following five hundred people. Like he's got no posts, no, just one. highlights. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's like, for example, I've had girls that have been like, oh, like. Like you're proper cool, like you're a proper nice guy, but the way you do YouTube and that, like it's a bit like, do you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, but, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, cool. I'm like, obviously from, from from there, it's like, cool, red flag. I can't have that. But some people they just don't like that whole art of their boyfriend being in the industry or girlfriend being in the industry. They like to just keep everything. Yeah. The whole yeah. like, imagine waking up one day, that's like, right, your phone got like thirty notifications. It's your boyfriend true. in the bar because he took another girl home from the club, and it, that might not even be a link. It might it's just true. be a friend. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So t- reasons like that. But go on. What are you saying? Rashawn, go. What me? I don't even know. You had your answer on. When we discussed this, it was you that even said. I would. I actually can relate to you in terms of that. I feel like um, what you just said with the post on Shade Barra, your phone just blowing off. <laughs> I actually yeah. can't do it. Like, I would not <laughs> date a rapper. Plus, little baby and um, 
Jade away da. That just completely put me bad off. The business world is bad. <laughs> completely <laughs> put me off dating a rapper. Same as A Boogie and Ella. Oh it's just my God. all just messy. I feel like, messy. especially. Be free, be free, be free. <laughs> oh God. I feel like rappers, like a lot of rappers, they're just. Like when it's you get hard. to that. Yeah, exactly. There's it's so much hard. temptation. It's hard. Women. They're probably going to cheat on you. It's just messy. Then obviously the blogs just chatting shit. Bad. Just don't have time for it. Mm. Like so social I would media never... is in your relationship. Mm. Yeah, because it has to be. Because obviously it's occupation. It has to be. Mm. It, it's scary still. It's like it you can't. You're now living for for the outside rather than you lot. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like you now know that you can't do that. Look at like David O and my girl. Like that's Even just my embarrassing. Girl like that's that's I just for her, like, she's just <laughs> getting it. Like bro, like she I know, just, and I feel like me. Imagine that. Like my girl on set. I'll just, I'll just break down like when I mean break down as well I'll just be like you know what I'm done like probably mm. I'll come off socials everything I can't do that man mm. I ain't built like that I'm a little I'm a little man I ain't built like that still even the notes and Aaliyah sorry to cut you off but let's not get into that that's <laughs> that's rough but I, ain't, I can't comment on that either that's that's very rough and very confusing that I don't is understand what's rough. going on because that one actually involves a child now so that's actually like they took it to a whole next stage. But I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like I'm hearing, like there's still stuff I don't know. I'm just saying my girl's from America. I didn't yeah, know Miami, that. Yeah, Miami apparently. Yeah. People didn't know from here because everyone thought she was a Londoner for a while. And she's older than them as well, I swear. Yeah, yeah. she's like late twenties or something yeah, like that. But just is. stuff like that, like it's just that's what I'm saying. Messy. Because just like, of especially because we're women, so whoever we have, um. Whoever's the father of our child, we know already we are bonded yeah, yeah, to that forever. person forever. forever. And it's like, I don't know how the relationship is, as we've said, but of all the people, like. <laughs> Michelle, what are you getting to? Ah, <laughs> 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 no, I got you, I got you. Lad, 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 lad. Do you know what? Let me rephrase that again. <laughs> <laughs> because because you know they are now the parents of that child yeah and you know how he is how he's oh. carrying himself versus how she's had to exactly, carry herself yeah. now mm-hmm. i know there's part of her my sweating wow there's like part of her thinking wow like literally just yeah wow, wow. Mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is actually what i'm dealing mm-hmm. with like, it's, it's a whole different ball reality. game it's a whole different ball game still when you add a baby to, when you add a yeah baby to the picture still. Well, that becomes uh, tough it, it's it's scary so i've seen and i've heard so much stuff but that video where he was in the zoo like, and then he was like are you recording i was like oh no that like, made no <laughs> sense like, no, i'm not gonna lie no no nah, like, bro that, 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 was that, that, that was messy that was a bit scary still, yeah i can't lie but that's what i'm saying that's what that's what it gets you still when you're a rapper and that leads into the next question as well, which is also very interesting. It's not even a question. It's just, when I say this now, I just want to hear your views mm-hmm. and what comes to your head. Naturally, you don't think that, oh, I need a perfect answer, but Quavo and Sweetie, what, how? So how, like, that's, that for me, mm. that's very weird because it just went from zero to a hundred. It went from everything being nice. I think the last time I saw them together was like a birthday. It was Valentine's Day, apparently. And yeah, then mm-hmm. it went Valentine's. from a Bentley yeah, to exactly. a repossession. That's mm-hmm. that's just that's all I saw. And it's just like I remember them being on GQ, and she was like children. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and they were both flat and <laughs> exactly. cute, cute, cute. <laughs> all right, cool. The lift. What's everybody? I've heard. I've heard over a thousand reconstructions hmm. of that situation. That lift. Let me hear you your story. Let me and I'll say what I think happened. Then let me hear you. Lot. I personally feel like cool. They were obviously having an argument as a couple. Whatever. I heard it was a PlayStation or like a console from like the comments. Do you know like when people mm-hmm, comment mm-hmm. on like under the um, post? Yeah. And I feel like they were just doing tug of war over the console. Not too sure why. They don't really care. But I think like he probably pushed her. Or like, do you know what I mean? It's just, you done too much mm-hmm. to push sis for her to drop on the floor. Mm. So he's just sitting there like a, like <laughs> a die dog. <laughs> just waddling her face. Do you know what I mean? She sat there for a while, five no. seconds. She oh, just no. popped up in her head. She was there to the lift door like, open. And she was, literally, she was there for a oh, while. Wow, let's be honest. The lift opened, got up, got up now, and then walked away. So I just feel like the relationship must have just had some type of, either both of them being 
a bit aggressive with mm-hmm. each other because yeah. it looked like they uh, were both targeting. We can't yeah. just say Quavo no, pushed that like it's wrong. 100. So I feel like it was just toxic, mm-hmm. regardless, man. I remember you know the shade room only got a snippet. Like, exactly, a just the the, yeah. the list. Yeah. I remember learning this is so random, but learning from media. Any snippet you take, it can change the entire narrative. Yeah, 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 100%. Everything that's 100%. gone on. It's true, like, five seconds 100%. before, so five seconds after exactly. the whole story. It's true. When I watched the video, yeah, mm. this is how I said it went down, and it? I, it looked like, it looked like, yeah, Craven probably done something wrong. So I feel like, I heard they went out the night before, and I heard, I heard that Craven must have cheated, didn't it? And to me, that kind of made sense. And I feel like she was trying to leave. Okay. Yeah, okay. and he was like, "You're not leaving on a toxic vibe, innit it?" Yeah. And it's just a push and shove thing, push and shove thing. Yeah. And then obviously he pushed her too hard, which is a shame, exactly. innit it? And then she just stayed on the floor. But I don't know why she was on the floor Probably for that long. Floor, Probably she just deep in. You know, like when nah. Sometimes when you get pushed or hit, you're just confused. Like, did like, this wait, really me? happen to me? Exactly. It's like an ego. <laughs> like your ego is that. Like kind of. <laughs> And it's in a whole lift too. Yeah, right? so oh, she's probably thinking, like, what? No, but wait, I swear that video came out like nah, three that weeks video, after they broke up. All that. Yeah, like, um, I think two weeks after. So we were all confused that mm. like, these are not together. What is going on? Like, it was saying, really weird. One minute we hear they're not together. Yeah. Then, like, a series of stuff happened. Uh, she's exactly. on Dusty, the Yeah. Now, it's explain to me. Someone explained to me that. Do you not get it? I don't. I still to this day I don't get what happened. What did she say? Like, what was she doing that was wrong? I, I don't, don't understand. Like and then apparently that Justin um Peedy's Pe- no, oh, they like, went out. Was that her ex? Yeah. yeah. And apparently he didn't pipe. I Something don't know like if that. he didn't like, pipe, but I don't think he did. But I don't know, <laughs> sis. Do you think they did? <laughs> Please, no, they but probably apparently did. Was like, like, and then it was embarrassing because she was like, I don't, I don't get it. To be honest, the, I watched it. Uh-huh. Watched it, you watched we it. Watched it yeah, we watched it together. Um, I don't feel like she was saying anything bad. I kept on saying to Rashan, Sawiti is not with Quavo because this is when no one knew. Because uh-huh. um, what she was saying, she was just too open. And mm. I feel like with her, she is a closed book. You yeah, only yeah, know yeah, what yeah, yeah. she yeah. shows you. Well, but she would just that's basically. That's MC Hammer's niece, by the way, just to throw a fun fact in there. Still. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's MC Hammer's niece still. AC, that industry is connection. Uh, yeah. Like it's it's but still. people even said she was she had connections. Uh, that's how. Uh, but like, well, from time your mum was a whole video vixen too. Like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My mum was paying still. Gorgeous. But go on. But um, yeah, so watching the video, she literally didn't say much i feel like they were asking her questions and she was very open and it just mm. looked like sis was single so i feel like maybe he was triggered from uh, that uh-huh. i feel like really once you're on that show exactly I mean? you, that, you must did, not is be that that is that the first show or was there bear i feel like that, that was, was the first, first show one. that was the first show with her he's had couple with like one with chris brown couple uh, but with her that was her first show with Justin, but she didn't say nothing too bad. But she was open about like sexual stuff and that. I can tell That's she like weren't me. trying to speak. Yeah, she, she wasn't. I can exactly. tell, like, it was bare, like, there was bare pauses. Like, I was exactly. like That's why I didn't get what was and going on. What- Going back to what Hus said about, you know, the whole closed book. Uh-huh. You, when you're being pushed to say more than you want to, you're just kind of like, why, man? Like, exactly. I don't want to say anything But she more. wasn't really saying much because she was just like, I want to talk, talk on it. Even when they said you got someone like a present. Remember she said a Richard Millie, Richard Millie watch. And she was just like, uh, But sometimes, you know, it is even not talking too like, much, even just from your um, language. Exactly. Well, we could tell. I could yeah, tell. Yeah, no, facts, I could tell facts, there was facts. just. It did look weird. And then it all made sense after yeah. that they're yeah. probably not together and stuff like that it is it is weird still but i thought i thought they were here to not necessarily stay you but thought i thought it was gonna breed her at least like I when i saw Qua- when i saw um offset and you didn't think that i don't think she's ready for that kind of like stage in her life you can't yeah, not be yeah. ready for how can you not be ready for like no offense but i feel like she's set obviously she's probably set for life already but yeah if mm. you was to you know she would be set do you know yeah, what I, mean? I know because Quavo is obviously very, very successful and yeah. has money. She yeah. will be set, yeah. but I feel like Offset, Quavo, who's the other one? Take off, Take don't off. do, don't Goodbye. do that. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> hey, listen. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I knew it was Take Off, but you know Take Off's always just in the back. But um, I just feel like Quavo is a quiet person, so we won't know much mm. and know his character. But I feel like with him, there's more behind the doors like he m- he's messy and i clocked that from this also it's openly messy like he's done, <laughs> do you know what i mean he's done cardi cardi has had to fight <laughs> girls like we actually get it but quavo's more like 
I think quiet messy. So for this to come out, everyone was just like, and quiet oh messy is dangerous, by the way. Yeah, quiet yeah, messy is scary because it was the just like, well. oh my gosh, is this what you was doing? Sorry, I, so, nah, sorry, sorry. He tried what, to what did he say? He slipping on the girls as well. Gone, yeah. gone. Uh, hold on, messy. what do you think about the situation in think, terms of what? Happened? I don't think that she done. I don't know. Obviously, because there's probably there's bare stuff that man don't know, but. Mm. I just feel like rappers feel like rappers, no matter what, even if they're babies in the industry as well, I feel like they feel like, nah, you have to basically, not like be a housewife, but you can't really be talking too tough. You can't mm. be in the public high. Like, you're now like my thing now. So it's not like yeah. I'm the superior one. Do you know what I mean? So mm. it's like, even the last you probably lived for him, you probably weren't comfortable with it, but you just had to allow it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like it was like a, the, the ego kind of flex like with rappers there's always going to be the ego so it's never really going to work like unless he's truly on your level in it so he's not on his level let's be honest do you know what I'm trying to say so I liked it from the first time from the first time I saw her he was in she was in his video in it when yeah. Quavo brought out his individual tape yeah his solo yeah. tape yeah so well, I forgot I forgot the name of the video but he brought out three, three videos at once and she was in one of them in it that's why I'm thinking hmm she's actually in his video like, and they're probably like close then like a couple months later I found out they were together and they were getting strong it looked nice it looked it good did. and I thought but I did actually think they were gonna have a baby together though I did actually mm. think that was gonna happen I won't lie I did. Do you think he was gonna follow Sue of Offset? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I, that's what I actually thought. But please, that you know, I don't know if Quaver's really ready for that. Yeah, I just feel like Quaver wasn't ready for that. that even his comment having children, so yeah. whatever. But mm. the rest, they actually even Quaver's comment about her. What did he say about her again? You're he not said, the woman. You're I not the woman. <laughs> I was like, like hello. <laughs> Like how dare you? That is the narcissist. That, that he's narcissistic. <laughs> but and I feel like, in my opinion, that. I can't lie. In it. This might sound mad, but when I, because I used to obviously from young and I've always had a, a female rapper artist in the industry that that I probably like that I post a lot mm. that I think is pretty mm. in it. And for the point, it used to be sweet in it. But this is before she got her body done, innit? So she's just a normal baby. She, no, she was very yeah, quiet. Yeah, like she got said, yeah. innit? Yeah, but I feel yeah, like she when was. she did get with when she did get with Quaver, she kind of became that, like you know. Kept on seeing her face. Like, there, yeah, I yeah. know that's right. I know that's right. I've seen her a lot. I, do you know what I mean? I've seen her bare. So it was that. Like, uh, <laughs> it was a bit. Uh, like, you know I mean? That was kind of scaring me a bit. And I was a bit like, hmm. And I think it maybe is it Quavo? Is it just her? Is it just mm. brand brand management? I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I, mm. like, I don't know, but. I still like her. She's still, she's still I, calm. I she can't really rap that great, but she's a, she, I, like, you know, her yeah, branding she, really helps her. And the fact yeah. that she has uh, the, the appeal, uh, branding and the appeal, it can, you're good. You're good. You're good. Still, Especially like. as an artist, she's that. Like, uh, she's not, no, as an yeah, artist, no, 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 stop it. Let's not be around <laughs> Yeah, she, she's dead. No, she's she dead. dead. She's dead. She like, can't bro. rap. No, she's dead, bro. I love you, sister. I used to nah. fancy, I used to fancy, I used to fancy, she used to be my wallpaper and that. I used to like. She's gorgeous. I, used to, I heard her on freestyle. She's not good. I'm like, so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> she's not good, nah. I even heard a freestyle and I was thinking, sis. I was like, After nah. the icy, after the icy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we heard that tune and we was all like, Ooh, like, oh, this, this girl's cold. good. And then I heard that freestyle, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I'm believe it. Sweet. Yeah, sis, nah, nah. Babe. But but then she's okay because that best friend tune, even though I'm not yeah, a girl, it's, it's not catchy, bad. It's, it's good. not a bad tune still. Like, again, ca- like ca- catchy can still be mediocre. Dead. Yeah, it exactly. Sense. It's just because who she is and, exactly. and you're my yeah, best yeah, friend. Yeah. You're real there. That like, hello. <laughs> you think I'm gonna take out my Apple Music and put that up? If I'm not doing this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Literally, exactly. Oh TikTok as well. God. She's my best friend. Oh like, oh, TikTok is killing music, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna get into that today. But <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, but yeah, no. Nah, I hear it. I hear it still. I, personally, I like her. She's okay. She's a cool person. Mm. She's paying other hand she can't rap but it's cool you don't need to know how to rap to bust these days, right so it doesn't really matter yes, so but yeah. she, I, I just hope i just hope them not i hope them not saw it out to be fair i hope them not come to okay cool Sis. another question did that bentley get repossessed what do you not think yes or no 100 percent. he took it back he's a fucking narcissist at the end of the day <laughs> hey, like he didn't pay off right right probably financed it yeah, what do you go on? No, these not, no, no, that's what these not do, though. These yeah, rappers, yeah, yeah. they don't buy yeah, they don't right. buy they don't right. right. But do you think. Philip <laughs> Arm? No. They buy all right. So you think he repossessed it? Yeah, yeah I man. I think he. I personally feel like he did. I mean, he did. I he did. If he didn't. So exactly. would you not know? Would you not know if you got your boyfriend a Bentley? No. I would never take back a gift that I've given you. That's just weird. 
but obviously with him but maybe you know what, the though? money no offense though i feel like us for us like when we're getting our boyfriend stuff like or girlfriend stuff you know the odd balenciaga so it's different for us but a bentley i know something that's just, something, actually like, something that's not associated that's associated with but then would you now. go like would you repossess it though i feel like that's just long it you is. look bitter as well like but you need, to, know, but like, you need to show but imagine it. what imagine what imagine what people that like, she's probably putting an, an next man in that car like true but then <laughs> come on no, this is not, this not, this not that's what I'm gonna say that it's ego personally I'm not repossessing it mm-hmm. I'm not repossessing but I'm just saying like I get me I'm yeah, very with him, he was definitely. I understand his approach do you know what I mean like I get why he would but that's I would repossess but bro man's gonna have next man in that yeah. Let me drive it. <laughs> it's true, no. Oh Other guys be like, let me drive it or let me see an uh. It's true, it'll burn him, but. Sign that you want, wait, on. wait for it. You're still paying off. Nah, I'm repos- Okay, wait, I'll change my true. mind. I'm repossessing that whip still. You're still paying off. But true. Quavers, well, why are you getting her Bentley too? No, I feel like love. that was just to. It wasn't love. He was doing her wrong and probably thinking, babe, let me. Exactly. S- remember, let me Let me give you presents to. Remember, to pe- that's, remember there was a bit she mentioned. Yeah, she even said that he was getting me things basically to help me, like, get through the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, do you know what's so funny? Like, yeah? no. One, one key thing that um, I watched. <laughs> one, key thing, <laughs> one key thing I watched, yeah, that stuck with me was I watched um, Jada Pinkett and Will mm. Smith's um, Red, Red Table Talk, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Will Smith was like, bare stuff that he was doing, you realise that it weren't for her, it was really for him. Exactly. Like, you know, like, when you get someone a gift, you're like, oh, like, open it, man. Like, let me see. There's more for like, your own like, ego. No, there's no harm in doing it for yourself. Like, but obviously, at the same time, you're meant to have their best interest in it. That's true. Like, I, I can't lie. Like, that's why I don't like surprises. I don't want to do something for you or get you something that you don't like. Yeah. I need to know you want it. Like, I need to assess, like, what do you have and what, what like, what don't you have to now make a decision? Mm. But he was saying how, like, he would just do stuff, like, even when he done that picture, he was like, uh, why she don't want to be in a line like, like that? Do you know what I mean? It's true. And that's what a lot of these guys do. You think it's for her, but it's to make him look good. Like, yeah, to that's make gonna, you feel be, better. Bro, I'm telling you, Quavo being with Quavo being with Saweetie, it boosted Quavo's female following. I'll tell you that for free. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's, those are the kind of things man needs to bear in mind. But at the same time, I was still rooting for them still. I'm not going to lie. I, I was. was. I'm not going to lie. Then I got disappointed. We were. we were, man. Like, they weren't... Obviously, everyone has that rapper that rapper couple that you think oh like yeah I don't know if they were number one for me but they were I was rooting no, for them man, I was it, looked, for it them. looked real it looked nice it looked, it looked real. real it looked real yes, it and did. they weren't doing too much no one really heard like, yeah much. like it looked real they weren't doing that madness like it weren't but like, I feel like no that's baby that's only because them lot are not messy as much as they created small small mess on the internet it's died down now do you know this what I mean they've gone their separate ways that's true. but Saweetie was Sis, whatever she was going through, we still don't know. Mm. This is it. Well, and we know, Quaver, that's we probably don't know. like a snippet of exactly. so much more. We don't know. Happens. So I feel like they're just not people that are messy. They probably just said they won twos online, called it quits, and it. it is what it is. Mm, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Well, well so we, I hope you're okay. Yes, you know I, I love mean? you. No, I think, Quaver, you know, I've got you, bro. I'm waiting for culture free, bro. I've got you. <laughs> Quaver, <laughs> shut up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not really Please. I'm on your side still hey. I'm on your oh she's gonna use that name for life <laughs> narcissist man said narcissist that's wild but um, yeah so that's that still Quaver and Sweetie look after yourself still but the last topic of the day the most thoughtful topic you have to think I've been thinking about this the whole week and I still haven't got a decision mm. but I feel like I've just about got a decision mm-hmm. while I was waiting for you guys yeah okay. but we'll hear yours innit so I'm gonna say it as clear as I can <clears throat> cough again don't get on to me please <laughs> cough again yeah <laughs> if you could pick one artist to headline Coachella UK rap slash Afrobeat wise Damn. who would it be and why before you start let me get that wine please I need to, <laughs> <laughs> I need to tackle these thoughts still but yeah go on I said it's not even more. Yeah, go on. I'll open that, but I didn't drink from it, though. Huh? I'll open it, but I didn't drink from it, I promise. It's, but yeah. It's, look how you guys look at each other, like, what the, the hell? It's to the brim, look at it, it's to the brim. I ain't been drunk from one, I drink from two. Trust me, drink from two. <laughs> See, yeah. don't know you how you want to be tonight. Cool. Take, that, so. take that one then. That one ain't been open at all. No, but this is what's it called? You yeah, but that's that hasn't been drunk from. I like what yeah, the hell? Yeah, Cause look at what I'm arguing on camera. <laughs> like, what the hell? We're arguing about a drink. <laughs> no, you guys are boying it. Uh-huh. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm an alcoholic. Uh, you already said your name. You're alcoholic. Shut up. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, nah, he he wants to go. He's going first. I think Rashad should go first. Sorry, why is it, you think? Why nah, you Camille, know, you should sorry. go first. I think, first. I think you. I think you, you know time, you've been thinking about this well. from oh time you gosh. said you've been thinking about it before we even came. You should definitely yeah, go, no, first. go first. Okay. Cam, Russ, he's probably uh, gonna say Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. Okay, cool. So, Russ, you need to follow him after this. I swear <laughs> that. Please. <laughs> right, because I'm giving man his props. Alright, cool. Say that. You're gunning with him. No, he didn't, I guys. Didn't that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. They're just. They're Ah, cool. ah, <laughs> nah, you don't, you don't miss that's, that's what you believe running. No, nah, they're missing me up. I can't even think. I can't even think. They're missing me up. I can't think straight. Ah, cool, you know what? Ah, cool, anyway, <laughs> the artist that I believe should headline Coachella, UK rap slash Afrobeat was. Huh? For me, it's Jay Hustle. And Ooh, good, 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 yeah, good, good choice. Like the, the easier option would be Stormzy. Stormzy is like, all right, cool, right. We got a, we got a uh, lottery advert, or we got a um, flipping Manchester United advert. Who are we calling? All right, Stormzy, Stormzy yeah, UK yeah. rap, yeah. right? Black it's Black, too safe. black Lives Matter. Like, well, in there. But and don't get me wrong, I, bruv, I like Stormzy. A lot of people say, no, oh, I don't like Stormzy anymore since like 015. He just he stopped mm-hmm. appealing to us. He appeals to the white people. He's whatever, good, but man. Stormzy, bro, if you hear Stormzy on every feature, yeah. He can show, he yeah, can no. show, my bad. He can show every kind show. of genre. Oh, show, okay. you got me. Ooh, one no. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he can show any genre of music. Like, I've heard him on Afrobeats. I've heard him on Soulful. I've heard him on Drill. I've heard him on Gospel. Yeah. I've yeah. heard him on everything. And I feel like he still does his thing. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I, that would be that would be a safe approach mm-hmm. that I wouldn't necessarily take a, a bad look to. But for me, it would be Jay Huss because when I look at Jay Huss as a character, number one, I'm imagining the set, yeah. So the mm. set of the actual Coachella venue, yeah. I know Jay Hustle make it. Who will make it would be fun. Um, Afro Nation was he set that great? No, but <laughs> at the same time, I'm gonna say he just come out of jail. You know, yeah. trying to secure the bag. Mm. And I feel like Afro Nation is, is not even as half as big as Coachella. But yeah, genres of music. Jay Hustle is making for every kind of way, drill wise, singing wise. Afrobeat wise, mm. soulful wise, meditation wise, like everything. He's so lit, for me, that would be that would be my that would be my pick. And I feel like J Huss's music, like I hear I play NBA, yeah, two K and J Huss plays J Huss music is there. And for me and the song they chose they chose um Fat for your right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's like a song that's still boppy, but at the same time if you listen to the lyrics, he says some people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like yeah, for me still that would be my guy. And I feel like for me, like I said before, he is the most influential person in the Afrobeat scene in the UK. People look at me mad and like, huh? What about your brother? Timbo, how can you not pick Timbo? Timbo is proper and influential. I say, that, I, say me, I say to people all the time, I say to people like, you know what? Just because you're the forerunner, it doesn't it does not make you the most influential. Yeah. When I look at influence, I think about affecting people from the outside, people across the world. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Hmm. Timbo, 100%, my brothers, SCP in general, 100%, they've done their thing across the UK. They're the forerunners. No one could ever take that from them. They've mm-hmm. done their thing. But to get worldwide, J Huss is the name you're going to you're gonna look at. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like, yeah, that will be my number one pick for Coachella store. That's Guys. really good. <laughs> <laughs> How's even thinking that? I agree with that. That's actually, actually mad. Hey, and my- we've even seen... <laughs> no, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? What were you going to say? Did you have anyone? I didn't. I had um, people. Ah, cool. Let's say the the names. Let's say the names that you had. So there was names such as like, um, maybe Heady, maybe. uh, Yeah, I even said Heady. I like Heady. Heady's got, I went to Heady one show. Mm. I went in Brixton, yeah. It was good. You could tell that like, for him, it's more than just the money and the music. Mm. Like, because when I went to your show, like, for example, no offense shit, but when I went to DV show, yeah, DV, they just had, like, cool DV on the stage. That's it. No effects, no nothing. Mm-mm. Just them on the stage performing, which is calm because we're there for the music. But nah, man. Mendy, when Heady One performed, yeah, Heady One had a choir. Heady One had Ooh. his 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 sculpture. Heady One had, like, five, like the effects. He had a lot of stuff. And it's like, that shows me that he's really here for the crowd. He's probably... There might be people in the crowd, probably like 70% of the people in the crowd didn't even care about that. Mm. But yeah. some of them, like me, they're going to think, raw, like, this is a lit. man's actually Shoot. doing this, like, and mm. even Ali Pali, because DB done their thing in Ali Pali, innit? Mm-hmm. That's a massive venue. You can do a lot. AJ Tracy performed the day before there. 
Oh, yeah. And he had the box, the cube, innit? Yeah. That's another person I was going to mention. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, even yeah, going to yeah, say yeah. AJ. That was my Tracy, choice. AJ Tracy's cold. AJ's cold. And then DB just had the stage. And I'm just like, all right, y'all niggas don't care about us. You just tried to circle your bag, which is calm, innit? But mm. I hear I hear the heady one shout still. I hear it. He's a cool chap. I do hear it still. There was, there was someone else I was going to mention. Now. I thought you said nines when we were talking. I was, yeah. No, I that's like an unpopular one when i say unpopular i mean really said, unpopular. i love I nine but i think his presence will bore people especially yeah, like yeah nine is yeah, too nine is a show because coachella too i don't think i understand the history coachella is of coachella huge. is huge yeah. another person i feel like a gem but i went to nine's show too the most interesting thing about that show was that was the police searching people <laughs> they had what? guard dogs in it bro it was nuts like i've never I've, I've never had that in my life they had guard dogs outside they were white you like just come over he was like, he was like what do you have on you he was like, oh. <laughs> oh was like but, um, and then nines as well he couldn't say certain lyrics so like certain like he's got uh, certain bars and he was yeah. like you know when he's like um and if i had a record do i still ain't laying down my weapons to k coke in it he couldn't say that on in the concert, in the concert. so yeah. it's like yeah, and it's nines is, yeah so yeah. nines nah man like his you would think him as a person with a crop circle and that that his shows would be a bit more but nah one that popped up to my head right now what do you guys again another unpopular opinion what do you think about maybe chip i love chip you know but chip, chip. the reason the reason i hear chip go on you go first i feel like even his new thing that came out not too long ago what was it called again the snakes and ladders yeah i think it's snakes and ladders yeah, i, I, snakes and ladders. I, I liked that <laughs> really that's bad he even done a song with like tiwa savage on it which was really good um i feel like chips done very well because uh. he started really young uh. and a lot of people do support him in the uk and mm. he's a good like performer from what i've seen out like, on tv and stuff yeah, mm-hmm. so i feel like yeah chip would actually be yeah, i hear he's been chip. around for long i hear it for me another unpopular opinion i have about chip I feel like the best UK slash US collaboration of all time is him in it. Champion with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my tune. Oh, yeah. No oh, other collaboration a- can touch that. Do you get me? That's a tune. But yeah, he's got history. Mm-hmm. As for yeah. now, would I want to hear Chip? No. He like if if I if I saw a song with an artist that I'm in that I'm in tune with and I saw Chip on a feature, I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't think that. Mm-hmm. Like, Ooh, yeah. I'd be calm. I'd I'd I'll, I'll, I'll be calm with it. But mm-hmm. Coachella. Uh, do you know what I mean? But mm. I hear it. It's not a bad shout. I hundred percent hear yeah. it. I haven't heard no names so far apart from Nans. But I ain't heard no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard no names so far. Nans, I, I still love you, baby. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no. Nah. We said. I was gonna say AJ, but Rashawn it. She said AJ is a AJ is a shout. A shout. He surprised me with, with Revenge Game, innit? The promo he done for that, he did surprise me still. The whole the whole Michael Jordan concept and that. Um, yeah. which, did I say Revenge Game? Sorry, Flu, flu game. game. It was Revenge Records. I was even thinking under. Revenge Game. But, um, flu Game, Revenge Records. My bad. Don't shoot me. But um, yeah, so the, 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 <laughs> the, the promo for that was amazing. Oh, that was sick. It was so cold. Like, And then even the thing sick. he done, he done the thing yesterday, the basketball game. Yeah, the basketball game. thing. Yeah, I saw on one girl snap. Uh, yeah, I saw a couple people snap. I, mean, I was jealous though. I didn't even get a call up. But, um, I was, but I was about us, but it's cool. It's cool. Soon, bro. Trust me. By next year, we'll be the people inviting people. Trust me. You put on everything. Facts. But I, I receive it. I but receive um, what do you call it? Yeah, nah, legit. It, he he done his things still promo wise, like, and his music is good. I do like it still. I do like it. He would be a name, and I know I can assure that he will put money into that set and well, allow the crowd to feel it. And allow the crowd to feel it. But um, yeah, man. So it's been it's been amazing. It's been a it's been a nice wrap of an episode. I'm happy you get me. We've got through the hey. bottle of wine. We've got through the magnum. So you can see it's been a good day. Um, it's been a good day. Um, so before I end on every episode, I have I always have the track of the week, and sometimes I pick, sometimes the guest pick. But this week we've left it to the guests. So the track of the week is always like an underground song. It's not a song that's really mainstream. It's a song to like get the listeners, to get the viewers to think, "Raw, you know, the people actually underground that can actually show and give us some good music." So, what are you saying? Give us a song. You got that for us? Um, B. Anderson, nausea. Can't you let me be 
so you guys could hear it first. So you don't think, what the hell, nausea? She feeling sick? But I'll play, it, I'll play it. I have to be fair. She did send it to me. I did hear it. It did sound nice. It's got, a, it, it does have quite a lot of views as well. So it is a nice song. So I will play that for you guys. But um, yes, it's been an amazing episode. Keeping up with Hamzo, I appreciate you, Hamzo. Um, big up Palm, Palm London on the shirt. Oh, my top is dirty. Big up Palm London on the shirt. Um, proper nice design. I will have that in the link below as well for you guys to see. But um, yeah, so before we sign out, everyone say your your. I can't say introductions because we're finishing now. I don't know, but <laughs> everyone say your handles and everyone say your goodbyes. So you guys first. Goodbye from the music column, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> 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 oh is that half both of you yeah yeah i'm asking you lot again on yeah. camera that's what i always say to all my guests that i know i want to have again oh cool yeah sure so you lot you got that on camera so if you don't see them within the next you six or nine months soon, guys yeah then that's oh, what, then that'll be his fault huh that'll be whose fault my fault yes, yeah all right cool say nothing so yeah camzo scp keeping up with camzo appreciate with camzo live and direct and we're out